Hello, this is a tutorial on my amplifier power calculator over at headphoneaddict.com. If you came here through YouTube or any other means, there's a link in the description so you can pop on over and check it out if you'd like to. So basically, let's talk about the calculator here. Up here you have all the user definable inputs and down here you have the resulting outputs. And what this calculator will help you decide is how big of an amplifier do you want or need to meet your requirements? So let's talk about these user definable variables. The first thing is speaker sensitivity in decibels at one watt one meter. And this is basically how many decibels of sound pressure level uh, you get if you feed the speakers one watt of power and measure the acoustic output at one meter. This variable is usually defined in the specification sheet of your loudspeakers so check out the specification sheet of your loudspeakers if you wonder what this number is the next thing is amplifier headroom in decibels this should drain between maybe three to six decibels somewhere and uh, amplifier headroom is how many decibels of slack you want to give the amplifier so it doesn't have to work so hard and the more headroom you give it the less distortion you will get because as you push an amplifier the distortion will rise so if you give it a lot of headroom you have, will have less distortion uh, then the self-explanatory listening distance from speakers in meter and uh, if you're on the imperial system here is the listening distance in feet so you can just drag this and uh, get the uh, feet the distance in feet then we have two more uh, variables which is the average listening level in decibels and the crest factor in decibels down here and basically what the average listening level in decibel decibels are is uh, is the average level of the music so if you listen to a song it plays along and uh, at a given loudness and when the hit of a drum comes there's a peak there's dynamics and the average level say the average level is 80 decibels you're listening to 80 decibels from the sweet spot and the drum hits and the drum is 20 decibels louder than the average of that song there we go that means that the maximum peak decibel sound pressure level in sweet spot will be a hundred decibels so what this basically is is the average plus the peak which is the peak in total so crest factor is the difference between the average and the peak so it's not all that complicated and uh, if you don't understand how to set crest factor meaningfully you can just set this to zero and uh, set the average listening level in decibel to the maximum peaks of your music so you have 106.5 up here and you have 106.5 down here but let's use it properly here uh, so you listen to 80 on average and you want to reserve 20 decibels for dynamic peaks the speaker sensitivity your specification sheet states that your speaker sensitivity is 90 decibels at one watt one meter and the listening distance from your speakers is three meters or about 10 feet so notice that the maximum peak is 100 total required amplifier power is 90 watts and speaker consumption in watts is are also 90 watts uh, the problem is that if your amp is just 90 watts and the speakers are consuming 90 watts you get a lot of distortion so you also want to give the amplifier some headroom let's say 3 decibels and notice that if you give it uh, every 3 decibels of headroom gives you uh, it requires double the amplifier powers now 
you need 181 watts amplifier but the speakers are still using the same amount and also notice that if you sit a little closer now you only need 60 watts of power so distance because sound for every doubling of distance you lose six decibels of sound pressure level so if you have a big room and you're really far away from the speakers you'll basically need a bigger amplifier to fill the room with acoustic energy so that's basically how this tool works and uh, i hope you enjoyed this little video thanks guys bye